Hi everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to my channel. Now if you're new here and haven't subscribed, then please do so by clicking on the button below. This way you'll get updates whenever I release new videos, which I do every week, so you'll have lots to choose from. Also, please make comments in the comments section and let me know what you think of the videos and anything else that you'd like to see. Now today's class is deep stretch yoga to increase flexibility, lengthen the muscles, work out aches and pains and to leave you feeling great. Let's begin. Sit up nice and tall, cross-legged if that is fine for you. If it bothers your knees then you can just sit with your legs out in front or any way that feels comfortable for you. Do listen to your body. Just drop your chin to your chest now. Take a few breaths in and out through the nose. Just feeling the back of the neck stretch out. And then lift the head back up, just looking straight ahead but with eyes closed if that makes any sense. The head facing straight ahead. So long, slow inhales and exhales through the nose. And now I'd like you to inhale for a count of four and then hold it. So inhale, two, three, four, hold your breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold the breath out, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold it out, two, three, four, one more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold it out, two, three, four, well done, and open your eyes slowly. Now again, drop your chin to your chest, on an inhale, roll the head around to the left, just to the shoulder, and then exhale, roll it behind, not too far, Inhale, roll to your right shoulder and exhale, chin down. And we'll go the other way. So inhale, quarter roll to the right. Exhale, roll the head back. Inhale to the shoulder and exhale down and bring your head all the way back up. That should feel really nice on the neck. It's a place we hold a lot of tension often. So let's take your left hand out to the side. So I do the opposite to you if you're watching on the television screen or some other screen. And take your arm over, inhale and exhale in a big circle. So right arm reaches, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale and then take this right knee behind the foot and lean over to the side here so bringing this hip roll it forward walk yourself around into a twist looking back again just take it to where it feels really nice and hold it there and breathe and then walk yourself around so the hands at the side now taking your arm around this time lift the hips in a big circle so you push your hips up and forward exhale lower yourself down and again inhale reach exhale down breathing through the nose inhale reach and exhale lower. Now you'll find if you sit cross-legged, there's normally one way around you put your legs. Let's put them the other way around just for a change. It does feel a bit odd. And then we'll do the other side. So reach your right arm to the side and the left arm comes across. Inhale and exhale around. So a nice big stretch again. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale and exhale and then bring this leg around so that your left knee is by the foot and walk yourself around now roll this hip forward walk yourself around looking behind into a lovely twist should feel really great hold it keep breathing smoothly it's amazing how often we hold our breath without realizing it and then bring yourself back around just to the side. We're going to lift the hip now, stretch forwards, inhale and exhale down. 
And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna come over onto hands and knees. Have your fingers spread wide, push into the mat, lift the chest, strong arms, strong abs. Inhale now as you look up like a wolf howling at the moon, hollowing out the back. And exhale into a cat curl. And we'll do that again. Inhale, wolf, as you look up, hips up, chest lifted, and exhale into a cat curl. One more time, looking up, inhale to the wolf, but this time as we exhale, bring your left knee in towards your face. And as you inhale, take that leg back, push the foot up to the ceiling, look up, exhale, bring that in towards your face, tiger pose. Take it back, looking up, and squeeze out the air in the belly as you bring the knee into the face. One more time, take it back this time, hold the foot here, stretch it up as high as you can, and if you want to, see if you can reach back, grab your foot with your right hand and lift it up. It's a really nice stretch. And then stretch out front and back, getting really long, lengthening that back leg as lifted as high as it'll go, pressing that hand into the mat as well. And come down onto hands and knees again, inhale, looking up for the wolf, wolf howling at the moon, exhale, really working on that spine, pressing the belly button to the ceiling, inhale, looking up, and lovely, exhale, into the cat, so looking up one more time, inhale, this time as you exhale, bring the right knee in towards the face, inhale, take it back, foot presses to the ceiling, look, up, exhale, knee in towards your face, inhale, take it back and up, look up, exhale, bring it in, last time, take it back, keep breathing, but push that foot up as high as you can towards the ceiling, like you're trying to make a footprint up on the ceiling there, and then if you want to, see if you can reach back with your opposite hand, grab your foot, and lift it as high as you can, it's a super stretch. Breathe, and then stretch out nice and long front and back, having that back leg lifted up towards the ceiling. Even this arm on the floor is pressing down nice and long. And then come back onto hands and knees and lower yourself down onto your elbows. So your elbows are close to your hands. Take the hips back, take your left arm out in front and let your head rest on your right forearm. You're dipping your chest towards the mat, feeling a great stretch on that left shoulder and a nice opening in the chest. And then lift your head, bring that arm back beside the other elbow. Take your right arm out in front this time. Again, pull back, dipping the chest down, head just rests. You can close your eyes if you like. And breathe. And then lift the head, bring the left hand parallel to the right. And again, dip the chest down. You may get your head on the floor. If it doesn't bother your shoulders too much, you might even get your chin on the floor looking forwards. Breathe into it. Find what feels good. Hold it there. And ease yourself back up. Hands underneath the shoulders. Press into a puppy dog, looking around to one side shoulder towards the hip and around to the other side you should feel the stretch right up the side and even into the side of the neck you should feel lovely again take it around to the first side and the other way and back to the center now tuck your toes underneath you we're going to press into downward facing dog if you can just in one smooth motion lifting the hips press them back, push the mat away with your fingertips and the heels press down towards the mat. They may reach the mat, they may never reach the mat and that's completely fine but you should feel a lovely stretch up the back of the leg. And then take the weight onto the right leg, take the left leg up as high as you can get it for three-legged dogs. So both legs are reaching, the feet reaching away from each other as far as they can go and then bend that top knee, lift it up 
so you find a good stretch hold it keep breathing and lower back down into downward facing dog and shift the weight onto the left leg take the right leg up three-legged dog on the other side so stretching long press the foot into the mat reach the other one up nice and high arms are reaching long as well and then bend that top knee lift it up find where it's a good stretch hold it shift your weight a little bit over towards the left and come back down again into downward facing dog pressing into the pose Now from downward dog, lower your knees down and bring yourself up. You might like to bring your feet flat. For camel pose, if you bring your hands onto your waist, push them forward a little bit. So your hips are going forward, lengthen up to the spine, lifting the chest. Let your head drop back and push yourself into a very gentle back bend here and come up. Now if that was enough you might want to do that again. If you want to take it further you have two options. Either tuck your toes under and reach back one hand at a time. See if you can grab hold of your heels. Again pushing the hips forward let your head drop back shoulder blades squeeze together. If you still think you have room to go further you could try bringing your feet flat. This means you've got further to reach down. So just take it to where feels right for you. So now I'm going all the way back to my feet and pushing forward this way. So choose your pose, whatever feels right for you. And then when you're ready to come up, reach up one hand at a time and hands onto the floor and round the spine into a cat curl. So this is a counter pose for the spine. And we're gonna to come to sitting. So any way you like, if you want to, you can cross the feet behind you and rock back or else any way you like to <laughs> come to sitting with your legs out in front of you now if you find that the back of your legs are quite stiff when you're coming forward in a forward fold you might like to roll up the back of your yoga mat or even sit on a little block or a cushion this gives your hips just a little bit of extra height it makes it a bit easier to stretch forwards so lengthen through the spine, lift up through the chest and walk yourself forward. Grab hold of your legs, maybe you can grab your feet if you're very flexible. Otherwise anywhere on your legs is fine. Look up, lift through the chest and then bring the chest towards your feet as far as it'll go and let your head relax down. So if you're more flexible, Obviously grab your ankles or grab your feet, whatever works for you. Same thing though, you stretch the chest forward first and then let your head just relax down. Keep the legs as straight as possible. You don't have to push the back of the knees down onto the mat so the feet come up. But you just keep them in a naturally straight position. Lengthening out the back all the time. Never forcing the head or the neck. You don't have any injuries and then come up very very slowly take one of the legs and bring the foot up towards the top of the thigh so the legs out a bit of an angle turn to face it inhale as you look up exhale walk yourself over the leg it's the same thing just grab wherever you can get hold of your leg stretch long and let your head relax down if you're more flexible you might be able to grab your foot or around your foot so lengthening out Breathe into it. Look for that sensation of stretch. And wherever you are, that's totally fine. If it's up here, that's completely fine. And then ease yourself up and we'll do the other side. So bring your other leg out. Bring the foot in to the top of the thigh. Turn to face the leg. Look up, inhale. And as you exhale, walk yourself out. Find your position. One leg might be stiffer or more uh, flexible than the other one. So it, you might not get to the same place on one leg as the other. So find what's right for you today. Listen to the body, stretch long and let your head come down and breathe. And then ease up from the pose. 
Bring both feet together now. Baddha Konasana, the cobbler's pose. So imagine that you're fixing your shoes or looking at your feet. You spread the feet out to the sides and press the knees out towards the mat without bouncing them up and down. You don't want to injure yourself by overstretching the tendons. So we do it with awareness. Stretch yourself up long now and then walk your hands out in front or hold onto your feet so that you can lengthen the body out nice and long and let your head relax down. Very flexible people could get their hands out here and their head down towards the floor. So just find your place, listen to your body. And ease up from that. Now take the legs apart. You might want to give them a little bit of a shake out first. Not too wide. You want to be rolling the hips forwards. And then turn to face one of your legs again. Stretch up long with the chest lifted. Bring the chest out towards the foot. This leg is staying straight. Both legs stay straight. There's again that very, very natural curve under the knee and that's fine. But you don't want to be bending it, okay? So don't come down so far if the leg can't stay naturally straight. Same thing, lengthen nice and long. Let your head relax down and breathe. And then ease up slowly and turn to face the other leg. Inhale, looking up. You're trying to get that little bit of a wolf pose, not the, not the cat curl, but the wolf pose back. So your hips are rolled forward as much as they can go. And then walk yourself over that leg. Again, hang down. You can hold the leg or hold onto the floor, whatever feels right. Just lengthen out, listening to your body, head, relaxes down, never forcing or pushing on your head or stretching out the neck too much. Take it to where it feels good and hold it, breathe. And walk yourself up and we'll do the same to the middle. So again, you lift up and walk yourself out. Maybe your hands can come to the floor. Maybe your elbows can come to the floor. Maybe you can get a lot further. Just listen to the body wherever it's telling you to, it wants to go today and that's fine. Just hold it there, breathe into it. And again, ease yourself up. Bring the legs together, give a little bit of a shake out and then take your left leg over the top of the right one if you can. If not, you can bring it on the inside here. So sit up nice and tall, bring your right elbow across or your hand to hold onto the outside of this leg. Your left hand behind, now sit up tall. So you want the spine to be straight up and down as much as possible and then press into the twist and look back, wringing out the whole spine. So concentrate all the way from the bottom of the spine right up to the neck wringing it out like a dishcloth. Looking back, breathe. And then keep your body in the twist and bring the head around. Look out over the front shoulder. It's a great neck stretch, a great release. And we'll swap legs. So the right leg comes here on the inside or if you can, bring it over the top of the leg. Sitting up nice and tall, Bring your left hand or elbow across the knee, whatever feels right for you. Right hand behind, sit up tall, inhale, and as you exhale, press into the twist, looking back, again, wringing out that whole spine. You could really push against this knee here to increase the twist. Keep breathing. And then keeping the body in the twist, bring your head around to look out again over that front shoulder. Lovely stretch down the side of the neck. And release that. Now bringing your left leg in front of you, you can bring the right leg in front of it here. So you've got one leg in front of the other. If you're more flexible and don't have problem with your knees, you might like to bring the leg up on top of the other one. If this doesn't feel right for, for you, then please don't and keep the leg down here. Okay, so your choice. Then you want to be sitting up tall and you walk yourself out in front. Again, you might come to about one inch and think, okay, that's enough on my hips and my thighs. And that's your place. You hold it here and you breathe. If you want to go further, take it further. Listen to the body. Find what's right for you, what's right for you today. 
and just relax into it. This is a very intense hip stretch. The hips are big muscles that can hold a lot of tension, sometimes even trauma. We want to release that, let it go. So your body needs to learn to trust you. You take it to where it's a good stretch, but not to where it's pain. And when you're ready, ease yourself up gently and we'll swap over to do the other leg. So bring it on top if that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, just bring it in the front. One side might be different to the other, so listen to the body. If you do feel comfortable with it on top, sit up tall, walk your hands out in front and relax down. Otherwise, like I said, that leg can be in front. Just find your place, listen to your body, relax into it and breathe. Very intense stretch. And then ease yourself up very slowly, release the legs and we're gonna come over and go down onto our backs. So roll yourself gently down onto your back, bring the knees in, hug them into your chest, give yourself a little roll back and forth, massages the back, it should feel really nice. And then stretch your right leg out along the floor and walk your hand up the left leg wherever you can get hold of, maybe behind the knee or onto the shin. Pull the leg towards you and then lift up, lifting the chest up towards the leg, keeping the head in line with the body. Both legs press away from each other, lengthening out. And then bend your right leg and bring the left foot across it. Gently press the knee out to the side and either stay here or reach around your right thigh, pulling it towards you, lie back down and use your leg strength to press out that left knee. If you want to, you can even bring your hand and gently press that knee out to the side. And we'll swap legs. So the left leg stretches along the floor, walk your hand up your right leg. Now if it doesn't go quite straight, don't worry about it, but have it working towards the straight. So it's stretching out long. Reach up, grab the leg and stretch it long. So one foot stretching upwards as far as it'll go and the other one is stretching out along the mat. And then lift your head and chest up, mainly bringing the chest forwards so you don't scrunch your head and injure your neck that way, keeping it nice and long. And then bend your left knee and bring the foot across, lying down, gently press the knee to the side. And then if you want to reach up round the left thigh and pull that thigh in towards you, the knee going out to the side. And again, optional, you can gently use your right hand to press that knee out to the side. And release it. Now this time send both feet up towards the ceiling, hands down by the sides and then flex your feet, push up, lengthening through the feet. Hug the knees in to the chest and then stretch your left leg out along the floor and take this leg up towards the ceiling. Now, if you can, you grab your toe and stretch it up. Otherwise, hold on to the leg on the outside or the inside and take the leg over to the side for a stretch. So if you're more flexible, you might be able to grab hold of the toes. Perhaps also optional is to put your hand onto the foot here. So wherever works for you, you could be holding the leg, supporting it behind the knee, if that's right. And then bring the knee in, hug it, and we'll do the other side. So bring the knee up first, and then stretch the leg long, and then you can grab behind the knee or hold the leg this side. Maybe, if you're flexible enough, grab your big toe or the inside of the foot, and then take the leg out over to the side and hold it into a nice stretch. And taking it back up again, 
hug the knee in and bring the other one up and let yourself rock side to side and then bring both feet down and push the hips up as high as you can towards the ceiling so your weight is all on the heels and on your shoulders clasp the hands underneath you if you can wriggle the shoulder blades underneath squeezing the shoulder blades together push up as high as you can and breathe and then come on tiptoe see if you can come even higher and then take your hands behind your head clasp your elbows and walk your spine down one vertebra at a time tucking that tailbone under slowly lowering until your back eventually comes flat and then hug your left knee into the chest stretch the right leg out to the floor and for our final pose we're going to do a twist so the right hand comes on the outside of your knee other hand out at shoulder level gently press the knee over towards the right and turn your head to look over towards the left hand breathe into the stretch well done it's a great way to lengthen out the muscles come back onto your back hug that knee in again and we'll swap over to the other leg so right leg squeezes in left leg goes down to the floor and then for the twist bring your left hand on the outside of your knee press it over to the left and look over towards your right hand this time breathe into it feel the release on the lower back And slowly come back onto your back again hug both knees in bring your head up so you're curled into a little ball and slowly release coming into our Shavasana the relaxation stretch the legs out make your arms comfortable hands facing the ceiling if that's comfortable for you just just your back your shoulders your hands Close your eyes and rock your head side to side a couple of times. And then find a comfortable place for your head to relax. And take some deeper breaths. Just relaxing more and more into the floor with each exhale. Now I have lots of meditations on my channel that you might like to do after this class or any other class or any time you feel you'd like to relax or de-stress. So you might like to do one of those now. Or else very gently start to bring yourself back and we'll be ready to go on with your day or your evening. So stretch your arms above your head and your legs down long. And then hug your knees into the chest very gently. Rock side to side and let yourself rock all the way over onto one side. And very slowly and gently press yourself all the way back up to sitting. So I hope you feel great. I hope you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. This way you'll get updates whenever I come out with new videos. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.